Thanks for joining the WebRoot Security Awareness Training Beta. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to set up your account, run your first phishing simulation, and send a training course invite. Keep in mind that this Security Awareness Training Beta is just a basic sample of the courses and functionality that will be available in the full release, scheduled for fall of this year. So let's get started. If you haven't already, you'll need to validate your email domain before you can start sending simulations. Look for a validation email in your inbox or click the Resend Validation Email button on the dashboard. Before creating your simulation, you'll need to upload the list of users you want to target. To do this, open the Target tab, then click Import Targets. Here you can upload your list in a CSV file or manually enter Target's first and last names and email addresses. When you're done, click Import Targets. Now I'm going to walk you through the easy five-step process for creating your first phishing campaign. First, click the New Campaign tab in the Navigation menu. From here, you can create both phishing and training campaigns. Go ahead and name your phishing campaign. If you want, you can also add a description here. Be sure to click Save Simulation at the bottom when you're done. Then click Save and Next to advance. Now, we'll select the targets who will receive the phishing email. You can select individual targets or use the tagging system to choose specific groups. On the next step, you can select the phishing email template you want to send. These are fully customizable, so feel free to use the WYSIWYG editor to modify and save your templates. For this beta, we've provided a small selection from our expansive template library that will be available in the full release. You can select some basic email options, like the description, the display name, or email address you want users to see in the sender information. Once you're satisfied with your template, click Next. Now, we're going to define the interaction your users will have after they click a link in the phishing email. There are a couple of options. First, you can send the user directly to an education page, which is a basic one-page HTML document with tips for avoiding phishing and hacking. You can also send a user directly to a training module. For the beta, we have included one of our most popular courses from our course library. Or you can use one of the more advanced options available, which is a lure page between the user's click and the education page or training module. A lure page functions just like the fake website a real-world phishing campaign might use to try to capture the end user's credentials. Keep in mind, if you use a lure page, WebRoot does not store user credentials. We only collect data about the user's actions during a simulation and then report to you. Lastly, you can direct users to a 404 page. This will still track a target's clicks without alerting the users that they were participating in a phishing simulation. Once you're satisfied with the lure and education pages, click Save and Next. Before launching the simulation, be sure to review your settings. We also recommend using the test option to send a copy of the phishing email to yourself before starting the campaign. When you're happy with how everything looks, go ahead and launch. Your target should receive their phishing email shortly after the campaign is launched. To ensure successful delivery, we recommend you whitelist our sending IPs and or domains. You can find whitelisting instructions in our FAQ section. Remember, we're looking for your feedback during the beta, which you can provide via in-app and email survey responses. You can also join the WebRoot business community where you can send feedback, chat with your peers, and interact with the WebRoot Security Awareness Training product team.